Hello and welcome to theprofitroom.com. Don't forget to hit the like and also the subscribe button. You're watching the trade of us trading NASDAQ futures live. Now this video is very unique because it's a video based off of news, news today. So when you have news in the market, the market can be a little sideways. It can be a little choppy because all the investors are waiting to hear the outcome of the news. But we was able to catch a nice trade in the morning based off of technical analysis. This was a nice bounce off of support. We were able to push higher and make some nice profits. As a newbie, I would take this money and log off. And that probably would be the best thing for me to do is take that money and just log off and wait a little bit longer. So we get this trade and we see it's getting to an area of resistance, which is the ceiling. And we start to exit out the trade. We start to exit out the trade because we can anticipate the price movement to come back down. Like we mentioned earlier, it's a news day and sometimes things are erratic. Things aren't working out like we normally see, either trending higher or trending lower. So we end up taking the short very important we flip the position active traders trade what they see not what they think and we're able to make some nice money off of this again so this is our second trade we get in short again because we expect it to come back down but look what happens remember we're in shop it eventually will go against us and we will take a loss now mind you we already made money we have money in the kitty right so we're able to take these trades now and anticipate more movement now this is a nice trade is starting to fall down almost $220 in the bag as you notice we didn't add more contracts because we're comfortable with the money we made already and we can sit and let it fluctuate but look what happens when you're in trades like this and you're in these channels they could turn against you very very fast so you got to know how to cut the trade for a loss. You'll notice that we take a loss on this, which I wasn't expecting to take. I wasn't expecting to take it and it just went against me and a little stubbornness comes in it because we're not perfect. And I eventually take a loss on this for about maybe close to $160, which I did not expect. And as you see it right now, I plan on having this thing drop lower and lower and lower, but it goes against me. It goes against me and I'm still thinking it could go a little bit lower, but I eventually cut it for $160 loss. It happens, we're imperfect. Now at this point, I'm anticipating it to break out now. We're at the top of the channel and our students know this. So I take a trade for the break of the channel. Now this is very important that you see this, right? Because channels either break out or they break down. But my original thought process was correct. And this is why it can be very dangerous when you're trading during news. So we had to cut that position fast, very, very fast in order to flip it to the original position that we thought of we anticipated it to go lower. Now, when you see trades like this, it's very important because you have to be skilled and have the knowledge to react to the market. So this trade eventually works out because we use multiple time frames. We use strategic actions. We minimize the loss and maximize the profits. And the reason why we get in more contracts now is we're looking at a broader spectrum of the market now this move is coming which we anticipated to drop lower lower and lower very very powerful video for you guys who are learning how to trade the different markets this trade works out great for us even though we're in the trade much longer we're in this trade about 17 minutes 17 minutes with the losses we still made about twelve hundred dollars so if you want to learn how to trade like this come over to the profitroom.com education, application, and success.